Hey everyone, what is going on? So today, what am I doing? Well, today we're taking a look at a the third Autumn figure from the Rubies Autumn figures. Last time we took a look at the Autumn Twin Pack. Now we're looking at the singly released Autumn figure. Now, to, first of all, taking a look at the card. As you can see, the photo is identical to the one used on this. However, the Autumns have been switched around as that one is no longer in the photo. You need that one, even though they are the same Autumn in uh, different coloured clothes. Now, since the last video, I've done a bit more research and I found out this Autumn did exist. This photo one, not this one. But yeah, he did exist. It is. So yeah, so he is an accurate one, and the other one I think just, it kind of exists. This one though I cannot find anywhere. It's just a repaint of the other two figures. I believe this came out after. Uh, this was a later release. I think it was exclusive to some box sets for a while. Uh, but yeah. So first of all, look at the articulation. The head can move almost 360, but is hindered by the collar here. Oh uh, yeah, arm articulation, elbow, obviously hand. I don't want to do it too much. I'll do it with this hand can do a 360 uh, T crotch joint hip and knee so basic articulation for these figures basic auto articulation so yeah let's look at the detail now the head is pretty much the other auto figure from the auto twin packs head uh, and his hands uh, so yes nothing new there really uh, it is an accurate sculpt as well you know this is what the autons look like in it a lot of them did then moving down to the actual face, the, nothing's changed. Although I do think with this colour contrast, it does look a lot better on this figure. Down here we have a grey um, sort of first suit and then a green actual suit with the belt. Because, uh, yeah, uh, I said they all have a belt on. And the belts do actually look really nice. Although they really do make them look like shop window dummies, which is what they're supposed to be. The creases, of course, are a little bit varied on them. Uh, but the jackets are identical. If we have a look sides... Right there and there, although the buttons, it does look weird, it looks like it's got two buttons, but it actually does have three. Uh, but yeah, but it, the sculpts are identical, although some of them, the jackets do look a bit weirder on them, like the way the, they were put on after the mould. Uh, yeah, but that's just a, a nice. And, and the legs are pretty basic as well. We have nice glossy shoes where all these other ones had a bit of gloss on, but weren't that glossy. And I think it suits the whole shot window. Because these are like new suits at the end of the day, they would have been wearing. So yeah, I know this one's covered in dust, I will try and dust these off because they are cool figures. But yeah, it does give the illusion that it is a shot window dummy just in there because it's, you know, got new stuff on. So if we talk a bit about the accuracy of this figure. Well, obviously this is a, a completely new Auton sort of design. There are things that look similar to this. There is a similar colour contrast, definitely, but it's more of a grey jacket in a bluish sort of um, shirt. So, kind of, that's probably as close as you can get. Obviously, like I said at the start, this one is a completely accurate Auton. He is in there. He does have this exact colour scheme. And there is another one. If you'll stand up. Yeah, um, there is another one here. Who, he is accurate as well. I don't think the, it had a belt, but there is one without uh, anything on the shirt. So, yeah. So, these were the only Autons for a long time, until we got the Spearhead ones, which are the best Autons, and I have three of them now, and I'm very happy about that. But, yeah, so... I'd say... As figures, they were very good. They released three different versions. Uh, widely considered i'd say apart from the hands i'd say very good figures they were some of the best in the line uh, for me they were very uh, nostalgic figures but i wish they'd release more because it's not hard to do this i mean at least do one because i always remember one having a gray head and maybe just you know, have a bit of artistic license with them is what i would have said to character options i mean even the cards are dead similar you know uh, that's it, it, there is a bit of a problem with them there but i really do like these figures so, what do I think of this figure? Well, it is my favourite Auton out of the uh, out of the three that were released. Um, I think Rose is a brilliant uh, opener for the new series. I recently rewatched it and loved it. Uh, it's one of my fit most uh, funnest memories of the new series episode. It's all over Doomsday for me. And yeah, uh, the green figure was a figure I got on quite a bit later on. I got this and another Auton two pack for Christmas a, a bit ago now, but I only really had four Autons for a long time so yeah so he's a he's in a lot of better condition as some of the other figures as you can tell uh but yeah i really do like him i've i always wanted that one and i never could get him but now i've got him uh it's awesome i've got all the rose figures 
and yeah so i really would recommend getting all these autons really and um, get every auton figure uh, <laughs> i have numerous of them i'd love to get a few more of the green one um if i ever see any even without the hands i'll probably try and get him because uh, the autons some of them do go for quite cheap um but yeah at the moment i'm be building these autons the best autons the scariest autons and uh, the mounted of army of three all with all their bits and pieces but yeah so i'll see you in the next one guys Bye.